This test will include 10 kinesiology questions. Question number one. Which muscles are activated when a massage practitioner asks a client to extend their head and neck during a range of motion assessment? A. Trapezius B. Sternocleidomastoid SCM C. Anterior and middle scalenes Answer is A. Trapezius Explanation When both the left and right trapezius muscles contract simultaneously, they extend the head and neck backward. Question number two. Which muscle acts as an antagonist to the brachialis during elbow flexion? Letter A, biceps brachii. B, brachioradialis. C, anconius. C, anconius. The anconius is a small triangular muscle on the posterior elbow, often regarded as a continuation of the triceps brachii. It serves as a secondary extensor, working alongside the triceps to straighten the elbow. Question number three. Which muscles act together to lift the mandible at the temporomandibular joint? A. Masseter, temporalis, and medial pterygoid. B. Geniohyoid, mylohyoid, stylohyoid, digastric. C. Lateral pterygoid, medial pterygoid, and masseter. Answer is A. Masseter, temporalis, and medial pterygoid. Explanation. When the temporalis, masseter, and medial pterygoid contract together on both sides, they lift the mandible to close the jaw at the temporomandibular joint. The temporalis pulls the coronoid process straight upward. The masseter is superficial, and deep fibers clamp the mandible against the maxilla, and the medial pterygoid mirrors the masseter on the inner surface of the mandible, amplifying bite force. Question number four. Client has right arm, hand paresthesia, and weak grip with ipsilateral neck and chest pain. Which muscle group should be treated? Answer A. Scalenes and pectoralis minor. B. Quadriceps and hamstrings. C. External obliques and internal obliques. Answer is A. Scalenes and pectoralis minor. Explanation treatment targets shift with the underlying condition, but addressing the scalenes pectoralis minor and adjacent neck and shoulder muscles is central for both thoracic outlet syndrome TOS and cervical radiculopathy. Question number five. Client has leg stiffness with mild pain and an averted foot. Which muscle should be lengthened? Answer A. Peroneus longus. B. Plantaris. C. Gastronemius. Answer A. Peroneus longus. Explanation. The client's averted foot suggests perineus longus involvement, since it's a primary foot evertor. Question number six. A massage practitioner observes a client walking into the clinic and notes a lateral hip drop. The most likely muscle affected by this gait deviation includes A. Gracilis B. Deltoid C. Gluteus medius Answer is C. Gluteus medius. Explanation. Pelvic stability during single leg stance hinges on the gluteus medius, which stops the pelvis from dipping laterally. The gracilis, a hip adductor and knee flexor, doesn't meaningfully support lateral hip stability. Question number seven. What is the name for an overuse condition impacting the anterior or posterior lower leg? A. Tendinitis. B. Shin splints. C. Stress fracture. Answer is B. Shin splints. Explanation. Shin splints describes overuse-related pain in the anterior or posterior lower leg. Question number eight, an injury to a ligament is described as A. ACL injury B. Muscle strain C. Sprain Answer is C. Sprain Explanation A sprain is an injury in which ligaments, the strong fibrous bands that stabilize joints by connecting bones, are overstretched or torn. Question number nine. What is the term for an excessive curvature of the lumbar spine? A. Lordosis. B. Kyphosis. C. Scoliosis. The answer is A. Lordosis. Explanation hyperlordosis refers to an exaggerated inward curve of the lumbar spine, often called swayback or anterior pelvic tilt. Question number ten. When the treatment table is set too high, which part of the practitioner's body is most likely to experience discomfort? A. Feet and legs. B. Neck and shoulders. C. 
Abdominals. Answer B, neck and shoulders. Explanation. Setting the table too high forces therapists to raise their shoulders and hunch forward, causing shoulder strain and pain in the neck and upper back. Master your skills, own your confidence, and pass that exam.